If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out EasyNPC.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I want to talk about the future of Fallout 76. Now a lot of you are going to be hearing that straight away and thinking, Oh god, he's on a downer, here we go, he's going to talk about the game dying and this and that. No, not at all, so shut up. I do get comments all the time from you guys saying, oh, this game, wait, not from all of you, it's just random people, basically. That's probably not even subscribed, they're just coming and saying, like, you know, this game's dying, stop playing it. Well, a lot of people think that, but I don't think it is. I think there's a lot of potential for this game, and especially now that Microsoft has bought it. If you don't know, in the last couple of days, Microsoft has purchased Bethesda, and basically what they've said is they're not going to be doing anything crazy straight away. But what they are going to be doing is, in a quote, I'll read it out specifically so I don't just make it up off the top of my head. Sorry, I had a blur in my eye there. Right, let's get it up directly from a source. And the source today is called The Verge website. Now, this is a quote from the actual um, post where Pete Hines reveals that there won't be many big changes just yet, where he said... First, let me say that we are not making any landmark announcements or changes right now. As we've all shared, the expectation is that Bethesda Softworks and our studios will continue as we have in the past, just with more support and resources than we've ever had before. Now that's the main bit I want to talk about. The rest of it is talking about the Xbox Game Pass where people's expecting, I think, Fallout 4 and is it the Evil Within to come in this week, at the end of this week or something? Which will probably be like tomorrow now when this video goes up. Um, but basically what I think this means is they're going to be getting a, bit, a, a lot more support. And what I hope this means is, you've heard, if you've watched me for a while, I said in a video, I don't know what video it was, but a long time ago, I had rumours from people in the community that Fallout 76 only had 50 developers working on it. And that's why it's kind of quite slow in terms of getting the new updates, getting like improvements and stuff. Because I think I think it was ESO has like 150 people working on them, but 76 only has 50. So you can see why ESO gets loads of support and stuff in com like compared to 76. So I'm really hoping that this means there's going to be a bigger team working on 76. If you've noticed the last few months, we haven't been getting anything announced about new content coming into the game. It's all been about, let's fix it, fix this, fix that. And I'm really hoping that that is because with the team they've got, they're trying to fix as much as possible. So when this Microsoft deal does go through, like it has done, it means that these guys are going to come in and they're going to literally just kind of, t not take over, but help boost it and push this new content. There'll be a lot of hype around it because Microsoft took it over. Everyone's thinking, oh, what's going to happen with 76 now? And they're probably, like, a lot of people will be really excited thinking, maybe not, not just Fallout 76, but the other Fallout games as well. Will this mean, like, wait, all Bethesda games even? Will this mean Elder Scrolls 6 will come out sooner than expected because they will have more money behind it to support them? Will it mean the new Fallout games not going to take 10 years or whatever it's going to take to come out? Who knows? Maybe we'll get some remasters coming out. That'd be awesome if we do, by the way. Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas remastered would be absolutely awesome. But, anyways, going through that, I also had a little bit of research done. I, wait, very mildly, kind of just before doing this video. I wanted to keep this very chill and just talk about what I think is going to happen with the top of my head. But, yeah, basically, before I move on to that... In recent like weeks and stuff, in recent months even, I did a video covering this and basically they are planning on adding like loads of stuff to 76. One of the things is going to be stuff like Far Harbor, not exactly, but in that terms, where they're going to be adding extra locations where you kind of fast travel to them. You go through some kind of teleportation type of thing like you did in Far Harbor where you jumped on this boat, it took you to a different island. They are planning on doing stuff like that with Fallout 76. Which means they've got a lot of hope for this game. They've got a lot of big plans for this game. Because this is big stuff. Adding in new maps and stuff which we can go to. There is a big future for this game. you just got to ride the wave. Yes, I know there is people that say, Oh, I'm sick of this. It always looks like they're just focusing on the Atomic Shop rather than this and that. I agree. The Atomic Shop gets stuff new all of the time. And it's clearly a way of them making money. And they clearly put a lot of effort into it to make more money. And as much as they can. But to kind of... 
I don't know, like, kind of, I don't know, maybe they needed the money. But now they've got Microsoft back on them. You know, we all know Microsoft's got a lot of money. But obviously, they're not just going to go, right, just have as much as you want. They're going to need the game to actually be profitable and make it worthwhile to put the time and effort in. So they're going to have to keep pushing the Atomic Shop. So expect there to be a lot of new stuff still coming at the Atomic Shop. And it's just going to keep going and going. But hopefully that means it's also, as long as the Atomic Shop keeps doing well and stuff, it will mean that the game gets that improvement. If Microsoft sees this game is profitable and they buy into this plan that the Bethesda developers and stuff have for the game and they come out and say, right, we're going to make this one of the biggest MMOs in the game. Microsoft might come in and say, right, we want cross-platform. There's rumours, I don't know if it's happened yet, I don't play Minecraft, but I just read a news thing there that Microsoft were wanting to or have made Minecraft cross-platform. Don't know if they have, I'm not sure. But if that's the case and they want to do that with them, maybe that's going to be the case with Fallout 76. Even if it is just Xbox and PC, that'll be kind of sad that they don't include PlayStation. But if they get all of them included in doing that, I think it'd be absolutely amazing. So... Yeah, another good thing to look out for. Going into the Minecraft thing though as well, they did add in a marketplace. As, like, so they added and brought new ideas to the table for Minecraft when they bought it out. And this was to add third party content to the game. Kind of like what we had in Fallout 4 with like the creation club and mods and stuff. Like adding in extra little bits and bobs which you can buy and add to the game. So hopefully that's also a little boost for all you guys that want mods and all the other bits and bobs added to 76. But... That's pretty much all the info I really know and all the blabbering I can do. I don't really... There isn't much information on this yet. I know a lot of people probably think there might be and stuff, but it's very limited to what's actually being said. It's still very early. It's still very, like, fresh in the kind of news type of thing. We will hopefully know more in the next few weeks. Hopefully we get some Inside the Vaults talking about some stuff. And, yeah, if, the, if there is some new stuff, don't worry, I will talk about it. But, yeah. That's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I've just blabbered on for... It's a, it felt like I was blabbering for ages there. It's only seven minutes. Never mind. But yeah, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this is going to see a big push for Fallout 76? Do you think there's going to be a lot of improvements on the way? Or do you think this is going to be more focused on newer games coming out and maybe they'll just put 76 on a back burner? For me, it's got to be 76 is going to get pushed. They've got a big plan for this game. They're not going to just let it die off or anything like that. But they have been struggling. Think about it. If you're selling something, you're not going to get... Let's say, right, if if you're planning on selling your car, you're not going to keep putting money in that car because you know something's broken in it. You're just going to keep driving it and driving it until someone buys it off you. That's what's happened with 76, I believe, right now. So, yeah. Hopefully, you know, this new person buys the car that does it up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. I'll catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry if it's not too much information or anything like that. I just wanted to share my opinions on it. Yeah, but thanks to Foxy Fensum for asking me about it. I wasn't going to make a video on this because there's not really much to cover. Um, really, I probably should have, you know. I could have got some views out of it and stuff, you know. But I really couldn't care less. Yeah, never mind. I'm only doing this because I got asked to. So, yeah, Foxy, thanks for asking us to do it, mate. And I hope you somewhat enjoyed my opinions on this. And, yeah, have a good day. Please later. Bye-bye. Thanks.